welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to talk about how you can quickly gear up your ults in World of Warcraft or just how you can quickly gear up. Now word to the wise, this will require you to have basic level crafting and having leatherworking, tailoring or blacksmithing will assist in expediting this process but the mechanics that I teach you here should enable you to make use of the systems in World of Warcraft to quickly gear up your units. Also, should you not be interested in crafting, you can look at getting uh, a guildmate or someone in trade chat to assist you. Now first, let's talk about how gearing works. So the premise is very simple. Uh, basically, in terms of how the mechanic works, your item level or your overall item level not your equipped item level but the item level that you have of gear in your bag and on your character and in your bank will contribute to the raising mechanic that occurs across the game so for example when you ding uh, level 80 or 70 and uh, level 80 is an expansion in the future but when you hit level 70 you will see that all your world quests start to drop uh, a certain level of gear and world quests are a great way to level up your gear but these or the way these items are determined is from your accounts over all item level so to engage or to upgrade these uh, is a lot simpler if you upgrade your overall gear so the quickest way is to start off with a basic crafting set. When I say basic crafting, I mean basic, basic. We're not gonna do any sparks of innovation or anything like that. We're literally just making the absolute basic, basic pieces of gear. All you will need though is while you are leveling, you're going to want to look for Titan Training Matrix 1s as this will enable you to upgrade some of your lower recipes to the higher tier. So. Basically, we're just going to quickly craft ourselves some standard gear. If you come, you will see that you have a range of resources here. You'll see my blacksmith thing's not huge. I don't have heavy items. I just have the materials that I need. And I'm going to craft myself uh, one of everything, basically. You can empower them should you have any. But realistically speaking, don't be too concerned about this. This is what I mean by basic crafting. We don't want to have any significantly intense crafting. We just simply want to make the basic, basic gear for our character. So we're going to make one of everything up until we finish the three for three items. And you'll see that every piece of gear we're making is three for three. Depending on your skill level, you might get 340. This is okay. Don't panic about this. It's not too bad. The principle is simply to raise our basic level. Once we get to the chest piece, we're going to want to include a training matrix. You can customize and do these things, but it's kind of a waste of time. And the training matrix is going to elevate the level of the piece of gear to 343. So again, we're using three training matrixes. That's all you'll need, unless you want to include a weapon, if your class can make a weapon. Obviously, if you're helping a guildmate or you're doing this through a guildmate, you can obviously provide the training matrixes to your guildmate. So you still need to farm them, uh, but yes, it will help. And then we're just going to make whichever weapon we can that suits our character. I need a two-hander, so I'm going to create a two-hander. So that's pretty good. Uh, now you will notice that our item level is 3 to 5, uh, and this has obviously increased quite a bit. So we are going to equip all of this gear, because it's going to help us uh, with leveling and with just, well, with gearing up. And just in general, it's going to make us look a bit more uh, ergonomic, basically. So there we go. Okay, so now we are uh, at 3 to 5, which is great. If we go and we look at the quests uh, around the world, uh, we should see that they haven't changed. And this is because we haven't entered the next bracket of uh, item level or gearing of item level. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to isolate the pieces of gear that you have that are lowest. So for example, for me, it's trinkets and rings. Uh, and these you want to try and isolate world quests for. Uh, so the reason why we want to isolate world quests first is because we want to raise our item level before we partake in grand hunts, dragonbane siege, or 
in the part quest. And the reason why is all of these quests have a chance to drop a epic piece of gear, so a purple piece of gear. But if your item level is too low, that piece of gear won't be in the 380s, it will be much lower item level. So what you want to do is you want to raise your item level into the 340s as quickly as possible. By doing this you want to isolate pieces of gear or items that will upgrade your overall item level quite quickly. You also want to avoid these kind of percentage based quests, especially the elite ones as these are not effective uses of time. So we're going to continue to just scan our quests and if at any point we notice that there's not any crazy quests although there is this one here which is great i know i just said don't do percentage rest ones but you should if you see an item that you desperately need but obviously once we've scanned the quests and once we've seen what's happening uh, we then want to isolate onto our next goal and our next goal is going to be two sets of weekly quests so if we don't want to run the Dragonbane Siege yet, we don't want to do any of our weekly quests for example. Uh, obviously our main goal is going to be, I'll just take this, uh, our main goal is going to be how else can we increase our item level. Now there's a couple ways, firstly there's the Camp Alag quests that exist and then there is the uh, Dragonbane quest on the Obsidian Throne. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel uh, to the Obsidian Throne and to Camp Alag. Both of these will have quests that will drop gear and this gear will scale again depending on your item level at the time. So this is obviously very 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 important and along the way you want to try and grab as many high level uh, item level pieces as you can and the reason being is again just as simple as possible. The higher you raise your item level the better it's going to be. So we're going to go to Camp Alag and you will see that the quest there should drop uh, one or two pieces of gear that are higher level than our own. And these quests don't take a lot of time. Uh, very similar, the quests by the Obsidian Throne also can drop quite a good piece of gear. So it's very, very, very imperative uh, that we basically do this. So uh, here we go, we're at Camp Alag. And you will see that there are weekly quests here. Now these quests will drop or have the chance to drop pieces of gear and there we go. So although it's not much of an improvement, uh, this will scale with your overall item level. So it's important to wait until you increase your item level overall. And again, check all the quests and make sure that there's not a piece that you need from here. So Camp Alag drops us a two-hander, this is fantastic, but there's also quests that appear here at the Obsidian Throne. So this is also another great easy way to really increase your overall item level quite substantially. Uh, so obviously whenever I preface all of these things or whenever we talk about these things, the goal is to upgrade your character within a quick period of time. We don't want to spend a lot of time grinding or doing huge sets of quests. We don't want to do huge quest lines. We don't want to need to have a certain level of crafting skill. And we want to try and avoid loop running dungeons. These are obviously great ways to get gear, but they're quite intensive and they can obviously pull out quite a lot of energy. So obviously we are oh, going to die here. Yep. <laughs> um, so yes, obviously uh, we want to do things that are quick, easy, and have a chance at increasing our item level quite rapidly. Now, barring reputation grinds, uh, and barring uh, you know, obviously the aforementioned dungeons and things like that, your weekly quests are going to be a fantastic source uh, of basically uh, increasing your overall item level. So. This is obviously one of the better ways, the Obsidian Throne quests. And the reason being is the Obsidian Throne quests uh, give you the ability to really increase uh, your overall item level quite substantially. Now I don't have them unlocked because I haven't actually done the quests in this area uh, because this is an alt character. 
but the obsidian quest line uh, is pretty high value uh, and enables you to get a lot of high value materials uh, basically from doing uh, the quest line so you can get very similar to the camp a lag quests some very high level gear and this is a great way to gear up your alts so yeah uh, beyond that uh, rares or mobs in the wilderness will scale as well to your item level so you can go rare hunting if you wish uh, that will also aid you uh, in being able to obviously grab uh, quite a notable bit of loot uh, there are some people that actively hunt rares as a method of increasing their overall gear level but in general um, as mentioned usually the best way for you to increase your gear score is going to be dragon Bane siege quests camp a lag quests and then once you've raised your item level as high as possible, completing the Maruk hunt, completing the community feast, and completing the Dragon Bane siege. You can also do the world boss quest line, and this will enable you to get some pretty decent gear uh, as well. Although it's more drop chance based, so I don't necessarily suggest it too much. Otherwise, uh, honestly speaking, if you are into being more in-depth with your crafting, you can, of course, continue to go down the crafting route and easily craft yourself some higher level gear. Uh, that being from the Titan questline. So if you come here to Crazy Gobblefinger and you do the jump-starting questline, you will start collecting yourself some sparks of innovation. Sparks of Innovation can be used uh, to create some pretty high level gear. The big thing with this though is a lot of it is unlocked through specializations as well. So you're going to have to slowly work your way through your specializations so that you can continue to increase basically and provide yourself more recipes. But it will be a great way to pick yourself up some pretty notable pieces. And should you create any, you will obviously get a big jump a big limiting factor here is going to be Primal Chaos. It's an incredibly rare resource that you won't collect a lot of while leveling. And that's that. Uh, that is basically it when it comes to how you can increase your item level. Uh, one of the other methods that I will suggest uh, that a lot of players uh, can also do uh, and that will help you out, especially if you're looking for uh, specific items is going to be the storms so elemental storms are a great way to access power spiking uh, so for example if i come here uh, there are quests to do certain tasks in the elemental storms and with the currency you get from there you can actually buy three five nine items and upgrade them to three eight five now i don't suggest doing this uh for most things but what i do suggest is possibly doing this for any piece you cannot craft so for example uh, capes are fantastic to do this with weapons are also fantastic to do this with especially if you are uh, someone who's you know, potentially not going to craft a 385 weapon or a higher level weapon. So that's also something that is incredibly valuable. And then, of course, if you wish to kind of continue or continue along that kind of vein, then you can move into the uh, Primal Storm section and you're able to buy trinkets and rings from there. It is quite costly. Uh, so to cut a long story short, the grind to get the resource is not necessarily worth it i wouldn't farm an entire set you're much better off raising your overall item level and then kind of pushing on from there uh, but for me personally speaking i honestly would say that the yeah the grind to get the currency is pretty intense but i would say that one or two pieces uh, does help out quite a lot especially if you are looking at for a specific piece so for example if i just cannot seem to get luck with a ring if i cannot seem to get any luck with a trinket uh, generally speaking i think it's a good call uh, to farm uh, certain pieces of gear 
it will be relatively grindy depending on what you want to go for especially the uh, trinkets so for example the trinkets cost this essence of the storm you can farm them relatively easy um, but yeah basically I think personally you're better off maybe farming one or two specifically but generally they are quite pricey like to farm this currency this elemental overflow currency is very grindy and you're better off actually just running dungeons or running LFR speaking of which LFR is a great way uh, to pick up any kind of gear raid finder difficulty is accessible it does drop 376 gear and it is something that you can enter quite early on you only need to have 359 item level which isn't too difficult to get especially if you follow my aforementioned tips so yeah that's it uh, in terms of gearing up uh, it should give you some ideas there's numerous ways to get gear just understand that the scaling of gear will affect future gear that you get so always start with the biggest upgrades possibly from world quests then kind of take your path from there and see how things go but as soon as you grab some of these bigger upgrades the rest will start to fall in place quite easily and you should have a pretty decent time but that's going to be it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one till then bye